Hey everyone and welcome. I fell in love with the sheer drawn bonnets of the 1840s, oh, I don't know, 15 years ago now, and making one has been on my list for almost as long. Uh, from what I've seen, but don't quote me on this, I believe most of the extant ones are made out of cottons, but I have never really seen a cotton gauze or sheer otherwise that I thought would look right. Honestly, the only thing that looked even close was cheesecloth and I was not going to make a bonnet out of cheesecloth. Uh, but a few years ago, uh, Fabric Mart had this little scrap of wool gauze for sale. Uh, it was navy blue. Uh, they had it listed as a one yard remnant piece, but I ordered it and when it arrived, it's actually closer to two yards, which is always fun. So I tucked it aside, intending pretty much always to use it for a bonnet eventually. So when I started plotting out my 1840s project uh, a few months ago, I just knew it was time to pull out this wool gauze and to make this bonnet finally. As I mentioned in my project planning video, which I will link if you're curious, I am using the Lynn McMaster's uh, slash out of a portrait 1845 to 1850 drawn bonnet pattern, but with some tweaks. Um, most of these tweaks actually came out just because the wool gauze was a, a thicker fabric than either a lightweight cotton or a silk, which is what was what what the pattern mentioned using. But I guess as I said, <laughs> I wanted to use this wool for this no matter what. As you can also see, I chose to make this bonnet entirely by hand, both because that's how it would have been done in the 1840s, and because the wool is a thicker fabric, just sewing this by hand just gave me more control over all of it, especially as I was sewing all of those tucks and all of that gathering, and once the reeds were in, I was working around the reeds and trying not to break them while I was working on this. On the right side there, you can see a bowl that has a washcloth in it. Uh, that is where I am soaking the reeds that are going to go in the edge of the bonnet. That will help give it its flare and support the edge and make it stand up. <laughs> but because it needs to go around two curves, uh, which are the corners of the that sit by the cheeks, it needed the reed needed to be soaked for quite a while so that it was soft enough to go into the bonnet without breaking it. My dad repaired caned chairs when I was little, and as a kid, I just remember watching him working with reed and cane all the time, and his method for both making sure <laughs> his cane and reed stayed underwater while he was working on one piece and keeping others wet to, so they were ready to go, and for keeping our cats from drinking out of whatever <laughs> bowl or bucket he had the reeds in was to put a washcloth over top of it. So that's why <laughs> I've got a washcloth in my, in with my reeds here too. The other major change that I made in making this bonnet was how I did the tip of the bonnet, which is what you can see right here. Um, earlier in the video, you saw me take some uh, tool and basically just mold it with some Mod Podge glue over a styrofoam half round sphere and <clears throat> and then cover it with a piece of wool uh, rather than the patterns method which was to uh, use the crown of a straw hat um, and cover that with molding and then the outer fabric and the reason why I made mine differently is I wanted to keep this bonnet as lightweight as possible and I wanted the back to remain sheer too if at all possible so that's why I did it the way I did. My preference would have been to use some silk chiffon that I have in my stash but I could not find it anywhere while I was working on this so that's why I ended up using the the scraps of tool that I did uh, to support the crown of the bonnet. And here it is. It's not quite 100% finished. I still need to add the cross struts to it, but 
it was wearable, which is what mattered because I, I did actually wear it um, this past weekend for a picnic, a socially distanced picnic I had with my absolutely amazing and wonderful costuming friends. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, please like it and consider subscribing if you don't already. And if you want to help me with making future videos, check out my Ko-fi link down below as well. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!